Wagwan, everybody. I am your Jamaican queen, Miss Y. You are tuned into How I See It TV, and this is a thought clip live. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to start because I'm already at work and, oh, I'm not clocked in yet. I needed to talk about this real quick before my morning began because I just watched Millichan's, um, Millichan's TV video on her Instagram where she was providing amazing commentary on um heavenlies and carlos messy monday live and i'm watching the videos that she is commentating on and carlos is pretty much in tears because he sees how candace is just absolutely mistreated and she's not in you know a work environment that's um safe emotionally and how people are this is what carlos is saying and i'm paraphrasing how you know members of the cast they are isolating candace and want to demean her for coming from generational wealth and millie chan pointed out that carlos has all this energy and I love Candace, so this is not a dig at Candace at all. But Minichan is right in that Carlos can see clearly Candace being mistreated, but he can't see that the star of his show, Love and Marriage Huntsville, is being mistreated even after she's told him twice now. Because Minichan reminded us that. Melody told Carlos in his um in one of the YouTube interviews that she did with him that at one point in time she wanted to quit the show because of all the things that was going on and he was like no that you know we can't let that happen you know and then when he did the live podcast with her in Huntsville she reiterated that point that she doesn't feel safe being on the show and that she was expecting more from him as her boss and that she was definitely expecting that Martel would be off the show. So it's like you have a member of your own cast telling you that they don't feel safe on the show that you are the executive producer of. And you're not seeing that and you're not doing anything about it. But you over there bawling because Candace is crying and she's not safe in that work environment either. I don't understand Carlos sometimes. And then Heavenly pointed out that Dr. Jackie um, is building schools or has built a school in Africa and has built wells in Africa. And Carlos was like, so why was that not filmed for Marity Medicine? Um, one second, y'all. Mm. Are you guys hearing me? I want to make, I don't know how I'm here. Just chatting away. 
and I don't know if y'all are hearing me. I see the um the avatar moving, so it's telling me that y'all have sound. Okay, great. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> right, so <clears throat> so he asked a heavenly dentist the menace, as I will be calling her from now on, if my to medicine didn't film, you know, this great work that Jackie is doing. And, and it is absolutely great work that Jackie is doing. And Heavenly said that um, Jackie told her that they spoke about it on camera, but it was never aired. And Carlos was like, basically, that's what reality TV needs. And so I chuckled when Melichon said, so he doesn't know that Melody is out here getting ready to go down to Ghana to help build water wells for people in, for the people in Ghana who are in need of that luxury. He doesn't know this because it's all over social media. Melody did a whole live talking about it and no one's gonna convince me that Carlos isn't tapped in to what his cast is doing, especially when it's being blasted on social media. So if he can say with his chest that reality TV needs, you know, there needs to be a place in reality TV where things like, you know, going to Africa and doing charitable work there should be covered. Then, as Melichon asked, is he going to be covering Melody's initiative with Dr. Shamita with the Clean Water Project? It's the hypocrisy for me. And I want y'all to go and watch Millichan's video over there on Instagram because y'all are going to be as mind blown as I was to hear some of the things that Carlos was saying that literally applies to Melody. It literally applies to Melody. His feelings about the things that Candace is going through or was going through because she's no longer there, was going through on The Real Housewives of Potomac. You can literally say Melody is going through the same things on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Where she's being isolated. Where... If she breathes, her cast is ready to attack. Where she is minding her business and people are constantly coming for her. Where her fan base is sharing their opinions and Melody has nothing to do with the opinions of the people who support her, but she's being blamed for it and her cast wants her to be held accountable. Sorry, y'all, someone walks in the room. Her cast wants her to be held accountable for the things that her fan base is saying, even though they have no clue whether or not Melody is in agreement with the things that are being said. It's the same thing for Candace. None of her cast members know whether or not she agrees. I've seen Candace literally come out in defense of Eneka on Twitter. When people are on Twitter saying that the nastiest thing that Neka doesn't deserve to have a baby. And Candace was out here windmilling for Neka. I don't feel like Melody needs to come out and say, I don't agree with my fans. I don't agree with my fans. She doesn't need to come out and say that. If her cast wants to create a narrative that when grown people are providing their opinion, it means that Melody's in their ear, then that's her castmate's business. But for Carlos to not see 
the clear comparisons here when it comes to Candace and Melody, again, I was mind blown. And especially when he went on to talk about, to congratulate Dr. Jackie's clean water initiative. Like I was waiting for him to say, oh, you know, Melody, she's going off to Ghana soon. And she's part of a clean water initiative there as well. I'm hopeful that it's just that he doesn't know. But as I said before, no one's going to convince me that Carlos doesn't know what's happening within his cast, especially when it's things that are on social media. So for him to have sat in that live with Dentist the Menace, and when she brought up all the good things that Dr. Jackie's doing in Ghana and all the good things that Dr. Jackie's doing in Nigeria, and for him to not say, oh, that's that's amazing. Maybe Dr. Jackie should should, you know, contact Melody because she's about to go to Ghana. She's working on a clean water initiative project there as well. He barely even remembered to talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville um, coming back in May. When Heavenly brought it up and said, do you want to talk about your show? He was like, talk about what? He was so confused. <laughs> Y'all, mind blown. Please go and check out Millie Chun's video on her um, Instagram and I want when y'all go and look at Millie Chen's video, I want y'all to come back and leave a comment and tell me if y'all see what I see. Tell me if you see things the way I see things too. That Carlos is just on one. He just doesn't care about any of his cast, in my opinion, on any of the shows. We don't even know when Detroit is coming back. Do we know when Detroit is coming back? He is so up in arms about things that are happening over there on Bravo that he he's not even promoting his own people and the good things that they are doing. Mind blown. I'm mind blown, y'all. So anyways, that's my rant. Thank y'all for coming and just listening to me. Please drop in the comment sections below and tell me how you see things too. Remember to like this video. Share the link to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, walk good. Y'all remember to go check out Millie Chen's video, okay? All right, y'all. Bye. Have a great Tuesday.